As you're building your wall, there's a couple of things you can't forget. The first of which is the thumbprint on the top of every block. That represents the top of the block. Can't build this wall thumbprint down because you could be building with a negative batter. The second thing is making sure that all your surfaces are clean and free of any debris. Don't want to build your wall with sand or soil or, or aggregate between these courses because again you could be building with a negative batter. Also, you see this clip placed here under the end of every subsequent course. You want to make sure that this block is justified forward. There's a little bit of play here. Bring it forward. Don't let the soil or the hydrostatic pressure move that block. So we set our next clip on the end of this course. Tap it in there. Set our next block. Tap it down on top of those clips. I've seated on both ends and I'm great. The nice thing about the vertical units in our quarry stone wall and our Mini Creta Plus, the vertical units have these channels which allow you to clip in here as well. So our next course has mechanical connection between the jumper and the next row of block. Let's get that clean stone in here. What we're going to try to do here is make sure that when we dump our aggregate, we're dumping it close to the back of the wall and raking it back. That will help us maintain proper tension in our geogrid. Give me a hand. Back up a little. 